Hey everybody, Severn here with Start From Seed. I want to welcome you back to my channel and I also want to give a big shout out to anybody new that just came across it. So here in the Ohio Valley, we've been experiencing a lot of rain, a lot of rain and a lot of humidity. So it has caused some issues down in the garden. I have been picking cracked tomatoes, which um, it's no fault of mine. A lot of people ask me, why are my tomatoes cracking? They crack because they've they're getting too much water. Maybe it's inconsistent watering, but with all the rain that we've been having, almost everything down there is cracked and split. I've even had to get rid of some cherry tomatoes because they were just beyond. It's not that big of a deal if your tomatoes are cracked, but you should take them off the vine. Let them ripen on the counter in the kitchen. It's okay. If you leave those tomatoes that are cracked on the vine, then you kind of risk them getting disease and insects and that sort of thing. So, I also am having an issue with the cucumber vines. Um, every year around this time, I get like some kind of, it's like a cucumber fungus. I, I don't know what it's called. I call it cucumber blight. But I usually have the cucumbers pulled by this time. I've, I've pickled enough. I've got tons of jars. Well, I started them late this year, putting them in the ground. And I thought that I was being smart by putting them in the ground later to kind of fend off the uh, cucumber beetles. Well, I didn't have a cucumber beetle issue, but now I have less pickles this year and the vines are gonna have to be pulled. I also need to pull the green bean pole. The green beans are not doing well. They have rust. And I don't, I thought I read somewhere that you shouldn't can them, but they just don't look good and I definitely are not gonna taste good. So I'm gonna pull those out. However, in the place of the beans, we're going to plant some fall crops. You got an empty space in the garden? put something in it. So today, hopefully by the end of the day, I will have some beets planted, some delicious watermelon radishes, and maybe even some turnips. So I'm going to take you with me as I like to do. And um, we're going to get this day started. It is a beautiful day, by the way. There are crickets chirping and the end of summer cicadas are here. And it's just the nice breeze is coming. We'll see how it goes when I get down there in that garden and in that sun. We'll see how we do today. So hang out with me, get a cool drink, grab a notepad, write stuff. Okay, now that I'm out here in the garden, I'm going to swing you around and I'm going to give you a little tour of these cucumber vines so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, there is a lot of yellowing on these vines. The leaves are beginning to crumble. Oops, see. And there's some ladybugs still got pollinators they don't care they don't care what these uh, vines look like they're still producing honey but what you could see is see like this little cucumber here it's yellowing and it's not going to continue to grow so i still have a lot of cucumbers on this vine i'm going to pick these and then i will get to tearing down these these vines for the for the summer so let's get going. Well, okay, thought I would take just uh, a quick little break in the shade and I wanted to show you something. Uh, this is ideal, for me anyway, when it comes to pickle cucumbers. Um, perfect size right here. They can get away from you, and they do. They're green, they're in vines. 
So what happens when one gets away from you, right? How did something orange get away from me? Um, this is a shame. It really is because if the plant wasn't too busy, the vines weren't too busy producing this, I probably would have gotten 10 more of these because of this. And this isn't the only one. I also have that. Oh, look at this. So it's orange and yellow. It's probably going to be bitter. Um, I'm going to taste it at least, but I'm pretty sure they're useless. So we're looking at about 20 cucumber pickles that could have come had I seen these and pulled them. That is why I learned my lesson this year that it is so important to put those vines up properly, to keep your eye on them, to trim them back when you need to, or else you're gonna be without a fantastic harvest. So if I would have left this on the vine, um, it probably would have made, um, and it probably does right now, uh, excellent seeds for next year. I'm not a seed saver, I just buy them. It's easier for me, but I just wanted to take a minute and show you the difference there. <laughs> keep an eye on your plants, guys. <laughs> found one of these on me he's probably one of the ones you're not supposed to touch so I'm just going to go and relocate him put him in another spot in the yard I don't know if we got him we get him on video ah! <laughs> he probably said the same Okay, I relocated him to um, some, I think it's called stinkweed in the garden. Um, I wasn't scared of the caterpillar. I probably scream out here at least once a week. That's just what I do. And it's Sunday, so that's my weekly scream. Let's get these vines taken down. a lot of work and um, I found 
a lot more of those giant cucumbers. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy, right? So, and I did get a nice, nice big basket here of um, some pickled cucumbers. So I think um, I'm going to be able to make probably two more batches of uh, pickles so that'll be great I'll now I have enough to share with friends and family and I was a little worried about that um, however I did learn my lesson in the future on where to line these uh, cucumber plants up so they don't do that again it wasn't a total loss but it could have been a more successful harvest that's for sure I want to get these cucumbers in the house cool off a little bit and then attack that bean pole if I can get to it today so there's a bean pole. We'll work on that. Ah, exhausting work. And ooh, look at those heirloom tomatoes. You see that? Beautiful. Beautiful heirloom tomatoes. And some bell peppers. It's going to be a good weekend. So this is what's of the bean pole here. And when I say it has rust on it, see that brown? That's no good. No good at all. And they're just, they're just, they just didn't do well for me. I don't know if it's me. Because I didn't have a good time growing them last year. See? Just not doing great. Not doing great. Um, Woohoo! Look at the shape of that tomato. <laughs> it's growing another part. That's what they call cat facing. Okay, whew, I'm gonna set up the camera. And you can watch me tear down pole beans. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this because I've never dealt with one of these before. So I'm just gonna go in here and hope for the best. you want to call him? Okay, as you see, I got a lot of this cleared out here. We're gonna pull this fence, and as you can see, we need to fill it with dirt. We gotta order some more compost, and um, we'll either fill this in uh, right at fall or fill it in in the spring. Um, I think I'm gonna plant some stuff in here next to these peppers, which are doing really great. They're ready to be harvested. And I got rid of the bean pole, and like I said, I'm gonna plant some stuff here too. 
as you can see it gets a lot of shade and your fall crops your fall and spring crop crops like cool weather for a reason so um, that'll help protect them a little bit so I'm gonna go in the house okay it is about quarter to nine I have been at this since eight o'clock this morning being out in the garden and and getting things done with the yard and everything and now I'm just finishing up my last batch of pickles for the season so I have some right here that turned out really nice and um, yeah that'll be my my last batch it's uh, bittersweet and they will be delicious for sure so tomorrow I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna plant up those root crops and I'll bring you along with me for that and maybe that'll be the end of this video it's <laughs> been quite a day hasn't it um i also wanted to show you oh we picked some tomatoes too um i like to process these um because not all of them come in at one time i mean to ripen so what i like to do is ooh, don't don't look at my messy freezer don't look at that nope nobody wants to see that um these are San Marzano tomatoes. So what I do is I cut them in half and I take the seeds out and then I just stick them in these freezer bags. Uh, when I'm ready to make sauce, when I have enough tomatoes, when I'm bored in December, I'll take these out and put them on the counter to defrost. And when I throw them into the pot, the skins just slip right off. So that's what I'm gonna do with those tomatoes and get those taken care of. I did pick a few um, heirloom tomatoes it smells so good and um, I have yet to have a tomato sandwich this season I've been so busy with uh, everything that I totally forgot to eat a tomato sandwich so I'm gonna take some bacon out of the freezer and I'm gonna have me BLT tomorrow for, for lunch I think that sounds really good so we'll see how that goes <laughs> oh, she's bubbling She's bubbling. Okay.